very happy to have you on the stream many times like i said earlier one of the questions that is often asked to me is uh, whether somebody who has scored around 90 percentile uh, can improve to 99 percentile by working hard so you are a live example of somebody who has scored below 90 percentile worked hard and got to 98 percentile so that is why i want to uh, hear about your cat journey in detail so let us start off with uh, you where were you born where did you study those kind of things and then we'll come to cat so uh, i am from kolkata and i did my schooling from kendra vidyalay uh, 10 from kolkata itself and 12 from new delhi so my 10th is uh, 10 cgp 95 percentage and 12 is as per cat it is 91 percentage but uh, best of five is 95.8 percentage and i did my graduation in uh, btec in food technology from jadavpur university and uh, my cgpa was 8.39 so when did you graduate from uh, jadavpur uh, 2023 like uh, without okay. any gaps okay so and after graduating did you work anywhere or uh, yeah i am uh, working in tcs i have joined in august 2023 as a systems okay. engineer and i have okay. till now 6 months only okay that's fine so how is the work is it like hectic or were you getting time to prepare for cat how was it so in the beginning it was uh, like uh, same 9 to 5 job like as okay. it so mm -hmm. usually i don't get time i only get weekends during my second attempt in the first attempt in cat 22 as that was covid time so i get a lot of time to prepare so but in this time i only after coming from office uh, office i do some sectionals and like daily targets that's all i can do and weekends i give mocks and analyze it uh, so those two days i give my full picture. so when you are first preparing uh, when you are in jadapur okay yeah when you are taking cat when did you first decide to take cat and why did you decide you just heard from your seniors or was there any other influence oh uh, like yes from one from senior and also uh, i think that uh, like uh, from going through the website and also that uh, how the paper works so for giving my first mark at that time i decided that yes uh, this is the best possible way to get into a prestigious institute like i am so in 2021 jan i decided that I will pre okay. start preparing and given uh, like I give my first mock that was CAT 2018 as like how the exam comes, what are the syllabus so that I have given. So you prepared for two years, right? From Jan 2021 to November 2022 is close to two years yeah. when you are still in Jadapur. Yeah, yeah. So how was it when you first took the examination? Uh, were you nervous? Were you confident when you scored 89 percentile last year? How was it? Uh, when in the run-up to CAT, did you feel that your preparation was going well or what exactly happened? Uh, yeah, the preparation was good. Like I have given a lot of mocks like uh, from sectionals, daily targets that happening on websites, your uh, live uh, quizzes in YouTube. So I have given all those. But uh, the thing that happened was after VR section, the uh, LRD section was came like I have slot one. And there was one token one set, token one set and other was uh, put, uh, goals was set. So I was in hurry that I have to do three sets without judging okay. without judging the difficulty of paper. That was my mistake. Mm -hmm. I should have been judged the difficulty of paper and should spend in one set and have to clear the sectional. But uh, I scored 40 percentile in uh, LRDI because I messed in one set also and could not complete all the sets. Means I have done half of set all the visited all the set, but at the end I could not solve any one set properly. So that was the mistake. Uh, this is nice because yeah. that is one advice that I give all the students. I say that in LRDI, don't set very high targets yeah. because it can go very wrong. Okay, And you see that happening. So I always tell them first try to get one set correct. Once you get one set correct, you are clearing the sectional cutoff. Yeah. Then try to uh, be ambitious. But otherwise, you are putting more pressure on yourself and it is only going to like uh, hurt you. Yeah. So how was uh, quant? Because after LRDI, in the first attempt in uh, 2022, did you realize that okay my LRD didn't go well or no, it, affected, maybe... it affected badly I scored a 97 percentile in quant in quant yeah okay, okay. but you are pretty strong at quant right this time yeah. you scored 99 plus yeah 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 because as an engineer I have given JE and other exams so at least uh, some basic uh, have practiced a lot in quant and mm -hmm. also uh, so in this year I decided that I will attempt two sets only in LRDI so mm -hmm. in uh, slot three I was so I have attempted AC one set uh, 30 minutes because I have first one solved the scene and check it that I haven't made any silly mistake. Okay. So I 15 must confirm and then I attempted median and mean while I said in 10 minutes I solved that. This was my strategy. Okay, very nice. So you learn from your mistake. Very smart. 
So did you take any other exam last year or was it only CAT? Yeah, CAT and ZAT last year. Okay, and how was ZAT? Uh, ZAT was also very good because VRC not very strong in it. So uh, it uh, went not very good. So I scored uh, 28 marks in ZAT. Okay, so ZAT is over, CAT is over. Then yeah. you got your job in TCS. So when did you really decide that, okay, I'm going to prepare for CAT 2023 and uh, take a serious attempt? When, uh, which month did you really make that call so after that the graduation exams was their final exam so i was totally focusing on that to maintain the cgp at good so after completing uh, in my grad in may means after final exam i there was gap between uh, july june july may june july august because joining was august so in three months i took uh, the mocks and so i decided to prepare with mocks based mocks based preparation because i want to solve okay. more new questions and fo uh, just focus mm -hmm. on lrdi to solve new sets mm -hmm. so i think that mm -hmm. best option was mocks to get more new mm -hmm. sets and the time constraint uh, strategy was important for me so i solved like that and okay again very nice this is also something that i recommend students i always tell them to take as many mocks as you can and once you take a mock, it's like a diagnosis. You figure out where you are uh, going wrong and then you can work on it. Yeah, because LRD, we need a time-based strategy because we without time, we can solve. But uh, in time pressure, how our brain works, that is more important. How to pick up that. Yeah. Correct. So you started seriously preparing from around June. Yeah. May, June. May, June, I started giving mocks. How many mocks were you giving approximately? Like in last year, around uh, 30, uh, 50, around 50 plus mocks given. 50 plus mocks, fantastic. Yeah. And were you had, analyzing uh, the mocks? Who had 20 mocks and other institute uh, 10, 20 like based mocks. Everywhere. Okay. And what was your strategy with analysis of mocks? You take a mock and then do you analyze it or you just take mocks often or what exactly were you doing after you take a mock? After taking a mock, like uh, first I try to solve the sets which I haven't like without time. I solve one set, I analyze that. Uh, like if I solve two set, other two set I solve after the mock. Or and then if I could not solve, then watch the video solution or the or the uh, like uh, the attempt, the live attempt, how uh, the educator educator or teacher has solved that. Hmm. I have okay, okay. We always did that uh, live sessions, right? We yeah. never understood. People used to like it. But we didn't know that people liked it. So for some of the mocks, we didn't uh, do the live attempt. Yeah, when we didn't yeah. do it, many people told us that uh, they wanted the live attempt. Yeah, so, in YouTube comment, I also like uh, when the live attempt will be there. Many, yeah. it, it was delayed in the last after. Uh, Correct. 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 No, no, but this time we'll do it. Uh, we'll do the live attempt because many people told us when we didn't attempt the live attempt. Because we felt not many people would watch it. We didn't see how many people are watching, how many people are not watching. No, it helped to like, uh, like to tally our strategy, like we, we should attempt this set also or which set we should hmm. attempt first. So it helps in better hmm. way. Like that. Okay. Okay, good. So other than mocks, what exactly were you doing to improve in uh, say LRDA and verbal? Because you are already fairly strong at quant. I think you are also confident at quant because yeah. you are uh, disappointed that you got only 97. So I'm assuming you had good expectations from quant. Yeah, but what about verbal? Yeah, in verbal actually, like uh, verbal, haven't got many time to read. Just uh, uh, like only mocks, mocks sources. I analyze mocks sources only. In because mm -hmm. after that uh, my job started, and uh, after coming from job, I give some daily target as routine to keep in touch, so to don't get right. the break. And in weekends, I solve one four to five RCs daily, and uh, more on the verbal part with this only. So mocks based and for quant, I think like quant, my I think I could scale up more because uh, in slot three, I think that verbal I was not confident. LRD I was okay and have some confidence, but this year quant was uh, very difficult. Yeah, okay. very tough. Yeah. So I thought to scale up to around forties, but uh, it could. But I think that as it difficult, I don't take to attempt uh, attempt more and focus on accuracy. So your preparation strategy was mostly solving. You are solving for RCS, you are solving LRDIs, yeah. you are solving mocks. So were you watching any videos or you are focused mostly on uh, practicing and actively solving? I uh, like the one, one first was the mocks that was doing and another was the live sessions, YouTube live sessions. Uh, the live quizzes you uh, like took that, uh, the leaderboard wala that you took, algebra quiz, geometry quiz. So that helps in yeah. time-based practice, like in two minutes Correct. you have to solve. So these things and I think that these also because after coming from office, it's very tired and only yeah. can solve these. Okay, good. So in the last say one or two months to the examination, did you change anything or uh, because maybe you would have had uh, some panic or some nervousness about how your uh, uh, this is going, your 
like preparation is going or you are quite comfortable and quite confident even when the exam was approaching how were you feeling uh, one two months before the examination uh, look uh, the brc was very unpredictable so i have uh, thought i even thought of brc for lrd i was sure that one table based set will be coming so i was focusing on more table based set all table based set of previous year and mocks all table based set and that was coming uh, third slot so i was sure that one table based set will come at any cost so i was sure that it will come and i will uh, at least clear the sectional so i was sure and quant i was confident that i will manage around 10 to 12 questions so this was my strategy so it worked uh, nicely because uh, this year i want to don't want to get behind any one section i want to clear all the sectionals main target but it helped me in lrd day like practicing more on table based set i solve it uh, confidently in one set and other set i also solve it in 10 second uh, 10 minutes so it helps So, how was the day of the examination? On the day of the examination, you went to the center. I think slot three. By that time, you already heard that uh, quant is very difficult. Yeah. People were talking, right? Yeah. So the examination started. So how were you telling yourself? Uh, were you changing any strategy? Did you have any target to hit in quant? Did you change your strategy on the day of the examination? What exactly did you do? Uh, actually, I think that quant was difficult in slot one. I thought it will become easier. Like uh, it happens. Like one slot is difficult, it will come easier in slot three. so i was hoping that it will be easier and i was in mind that i will have to like boost up in quant but uh, okay it didn't work and for brc i never thought i think that it was it i don't know the answer i could not be sure i have to mark at that time and for lrd i was sure, uh, as i heard that uh, two sets are doable everybody is doing two sets mostly are doing one set so i think that if i do at least one set i will cut clear the cut off if i go, do the two sets then i will got 98 99% so this was my target so i decided that i will focus on one set only and give my 100% and 15 marks i have to face at that so this was my strategy okay good so after the examination was over how were you feeling you felt uh, you did okay or were you nervous or what were your thoughts before the response sheet came out uh, response sheet yeah i was uh, telling with my friends the answers so lrd okay. set matched so i was happy that yeah one set is correct ac one set was correct and another was mean median uh, one set was correct and one answer maybe was doubtful so uh, that one may be wrong but other nine questions was correct and for quant also uh, nine to 10 question was correct so was happy okay and uh, you also given the review for that uh, slot 3 So yeah, it was good. I was, it, uh, but VRC was I was doubtful that I could be clear the section or not. So that was doubtful. But other two section I have tally with my friends and all. So it was uh, okay. Like so be, in the answer, did you think you made? Yeah, did you think you made any mistake or if you had to do it again, what is it that you would have done differently? I think normally your strategy was good. You are focusing mostly on solving. So mostly I think it is a good strategy. But you would feel that you had made some mistake, right? So something that you think uh, you should have done in a different way. I think the uh, router network one set like I should have uh, spent one or two minutes. I think it was easy set, but uh, I missed that. I uh, I took uh, the difficult set AC one set and one easy set that is a median mode. So I think that three sets, two uh, point uh, five sets, I could do more. in a real exam if i uh, manage the less time in ac uh, last one set and in quants i think that uh, other two questions are also solvable like after exam everybody realized that it is solvable but in the exam time also after uh, after like uh, my uh, brain got many uh, tired after uh, solving lrdi so could not give the good potential at that time but i think that some one or two more questions will be solvable Yeah, with respect to the preparation strategy, do you think you made any mistakes? Like when you are preparing for the examination, you are focusing mostly on solving questions, which is good. But is there anything else in the preparation strategy when you are preparing for the examination that you could have done differently? I think in VRC, uh, I think uh, one should read on more. Like I didn't got many time to read, much time to read because uh, my job was there, training was there. So I think one should like uh, read more in VRC because if first section goes well, then whole paper you get confidence. So I think correct, correct. I That's think nice. that VRC mm-hmm. like every year like many some people very got boosted marks in VRC I think like fifties forties so I think VRC yeah. is uh, now a very crucial section so uh, so we have to give equally attention to three all three sections so I have made little attention in VRC as compared to LRDI because last year LRD gave me like heart attack so I have to <laughs> I have to uh, focus on that. So, how much did you improve in each section? Uh, if you are looking at the marks from last year to this year, so VRC was same. Like last year, also eighteen, eighteen uh, marks. Uh, this year, also eighteen marks. Uh, 
last year ela day 3 marks and this year uh, 27 marks okay very good and uh, quant uh, last year i think uh, 20, last year 26 marks and this year 27 not very much but changing in difficulty not in correct correct, correct. So but, the big jump that yeah. you got was in LRD. Yeah. So one of the things I think people can do who are looking to improve from 90 to 99 is try to see if they can improve a lot in one section. Many people, yeah. for example, you also I think you could have done better in verbal, like yeah. you yourself were saying. Yes. From 18, if you put effort and some more of this, I think you can easily cross 35, 35 to 40. Yeah. Which I thinking uh, is a big disc. Okay. Anyway, uh, I found this uh, very it, nice. It was first section, so at uh, because to accustom with the environment also it needs because so I could not take risk at that time. So correct, correct, correct. That is true. And another thing that you said, which I agree with, is because it's the first section. If it goes well, you also feel more confident. Yeah. You feel uh, you'll uh, do slightly better just on the basis of that confidence. that you feel okay i've done well so i'll do better and if you solve okay, it so lrd at two sets then it will again boost the confidence in quant section correct yeah. correct correct that's right that's right anyway nice talking to you thank you sir yeah all the best